Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to install RateWatch on your iPhone device. And the first thing is I'm going to show you what software you're going to need for this tutorial that you can be able to install RateWatch on your device. So the first software you're going to need is iTunes. Just download iTunes on your device. Um, if it's Mac or if it's Windows, it uh, doesn't matter. Just to download iTunes on your computer or and install it and you're good to go the second thing you're gonna need is CGI Impactor download the version that's gonna work for your um, operation system mine is Windows so I'm gonna download Windows and I already did that and install uh, the, the program as well then this is out of the way the third thing you're gonna need is the EPI for the RetroArch uh, application so that you can install it on your phone you go to this site here, I'm going to link it as well in the description below. Downloads, you scroll down till you find iOS and you put, you click on download and you're good to go. Uh, if you have the newest device, like the newest iPhone, like iPhone 10, 8, 7 with the newest uh, software or iOS should I say, then you're good to go with this here, this API. API. But if you have a later version like uh, iOS 10, if you're, if you're like as me, I have like an iPhone 5 and it only supports uh, iOS 10.3.3, then I'm gonna put another link for you where you can get the right uh, API for your uh, iOS device. And uh, the last thing you'll need is uh, only this website here. You have to have Apple ID, manage uh, your Apple account. And that's, I'm going to show you for what it's going to be. I'm sorry again for, um, or not, because I'm sorry for the notification. Somebody is uh, contacting me, obviously. It only means I have a life, not only YouTube. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to show you later in the tutorial what you go, why you're going to need this one here. So with anything further ado, guys, let's begin. So we have, you have your phone right here. Uh, you need your cable, your uh, charging cable. Unplug it and plug it into your PC and uh, from your PC to your phone. Then uh, go to iTunes. I have it here. Just open it uh, like I do right here. And uh, just to be, be sure that your iPhone is actually connected to your iTunes as mine right here. So that you know it's actually synchronized. When you, If you know, know that it's connected, just click and get out of it and you're good to go. The second thing that you're gonna need to do is go to Cydia Impactor, like here, like I did, and open the program. Wait a little bit and it's gonna show up right here. It's gonna show you iPhone and it's you, obviously, it's your phone, right? And uh, you're good to go. Put it right there, wherever you want to, hold up. Put it like here and go then do, um, the IPI for RateRodge that you have been downloaded from the website and just put it inside here. When you do that, it's going to tell you this can be your iTunes or email login. What you need to do is just log in with your iTunes uh, account, um, App Store account, I think uh, my is uh, my name, Jamie M Milky and yeah, hot hotmail.com uh, oh this is wrong here dot dot com and just click ok and it's going to ask you your password is only sent to apple so don't you even worry about that so and actually you would put your uh, apple password for your app store right and that we're going to do that uh, for the tutorial um, Oh, sorry, like this, and you're done. You click OK, and it's going to give you this pop up notification here File provision CPP line 120 what? Sign in with your app specific password. You generate it again, rate it. If, if you forgot the app specification password, you need to create a new one to apply apple.com. All right. If you have this, if you're gonna get this pop up, don't you worry now. Now where you have to go to this website here, Apple ID, you put again your Apple uh, App Store um, username, your password, you click OK. 
And then you're gonna get uh, a two-factor authentication. It depends on if you have enabled or not. I have it enabled on my phone. And if you want to know how to do that, I'm gonna do a tutorial on this as well. You're gonna get a uh, um, notification on your phone, like I did. I don't know if I can even see it. It's gonna ask you apply this sign in request gmail.com and somebody did like um, yeah connect like trying to sign in to your Apple ID and you just pick allow because it's you know it's you you're gonna get the code on your device my code is um, five zero one and one nine eight like that Forever, it's always every time random, so don't think about that. Now keep in mind, uh, you go now you go to here. You are, you're gonna be here in this one. Go to generate password. Click on it. Specific uh, app specific password, and then you just write in the app that you are gonna install. And for me, it's the name was Ret RetroArch. You just put RetroArch. Arch, and you're good to go. Create. Wait for it, and you're gonna get this password, right? Take this password, copy it, and uh, yeah, you can leave the site open, you can close it, it depends on you. Um, then you do the same thing. You take the, do you take again the API, RateWatch API, put it in, but this time you put only the iTunes, uh, iTunes email. Mail key, and hotmail.com write that you click ok and then the password that you have created on the site you just paste in click ok and this time it's gonna actually install on your phone and uh, yeah that's all it and you're good to go so I'm gonna skip now this part because it's uh, nothing too crazy here and uh, go to the part when you get actually can put your uh, games inside the, the phone all right, see you there, guys. All right, uh, application Rate Watch is installed now on my device. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, my uh, for my phone it shows me generate uh, generating application map, but uh, it actually works. It actually installs the application, and I try it out. It works. Uh, I think for your newer devices, guys, that's not going to be the case. It's just going to show complete, and then you just when this happens, when it's going to show complete on your device, you just uh, re just click on this. On X and uh, you're good to go and if you have all the device and it's gonna maybe show you generate generating application map don't you worry the application gonna be installed to so just to do that and you're good to go now the question is now we have read on our device I'm gonna show you that I just open it I really hope you can see it it's there let's see there you can see it that's good you can see it there's read arch and it's gonna work exactly as it should so this, just as I tell you, so now you want, you want to ask me, uh, Emu, how do we gonna get games, right? Here we are, we are actually iTunes comes into play, guys. So go open iTunes, open iTunes, and wait a little bit for it. Let me make it big screen here. Um, go to your uh, here to this sign here. I think it's connected now. Click on your phone. Wait a little bit for it, and go to file sharing. There you see you're gonna see Retro Arch. Click on it, wait a little bit. There you go. Um, you can actually you can draw the file in that you want to, or you can do it professionally as I would do it. Add add file. Um, go wherever you put your ROMs. I'm gonna go right here for example. The, uh, the Legend of Zelda link to the past here. Uh, gonna click on it, open. It's, it's gonna be automatically dropped in into the retro arch. Just do as I do and you're good to go. Uh, click on done and go outside the uh, iTunes. Refresh if you want to, I always do that. And if everything did go right as I want to, let me go to here to you. Let me see if I can get the camera really uh, into the phone. I think that's good. I unfortunately I don't have like a um, adapter. There we go. I click on it. It's gonna ask me. Uh, it's gonna. Say, it's gonna tell you untrusted developer, right? No problem. Cancel it. Go to uh, settings on your device. Hopefully, I can carry it in the. There we go. In the camera. Gonna be difficult here. Go to general. 
a general thank you and scroll down till you find device management click on it and click on on the program like that and uh, yeah just uh, trust trust the program trust it and you're good to go click on it go outside then go again to the web to the retrouch program click on it and it's gonna actually uh, load it's gonna greet you as it did with the uh, Android one wait a little bit for it uh, till it's extract as you might see it's gonna take a time I think now it's done let's see yeah there it is it has extract and you do the same thing as I showed you in my first tutorial guys and uh, you gonna be uh, good to go I gonna show you as well as it as it works uh, just a sec here um, we gonna go directly to um, yeah load the core a lot con because on, on this iPhone is a little bit difficult but I, uh, I different sorry come on what the all right heck all right let me yeah for some reason it, it's really old the phone is really old guys i'm sorry i'm uh, not going to respond as my newer phone um load content here directory here's the game and i gonna choose for this one i think the best one really was um uh, on, on your Android, for me, for my iPhone 5, the best one works uh, for the Super Nintendo is the SNES 9X 2010. Works perfectly for me. That is, let me turn the audio on. And there we go. There we go, it works guys. And that's how you get rid of Arch on your we turn it off here a little bit there we go and uh, yeah guys that's how you get retro arch on your uh, sorry that's how you get retro arch on your uh, ios device guys it's really easy and if you have any questions or uh, anything that you want to tell me or let me know or any maybe any tutorial that you might wish to 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 uh, want me to do let me know in the comment section below and i will be more than happy to do the tutorial with you and with it all said guys i'm gonna get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and bye else keep it cool and stay awesome my name is emo from emo gaming and i'm freaking out of here peace